Today I'm going to show you two different techniques for French braiding your own hair. So you're going to start by putting your hair into a half up. Once you get familiar and comfortable with it, you can start, you know, further up. You can do it two, two of them on each side, whatever. But we're going to start with the half up. I like to kind of lift my brush up at the end here to do that. Then we check to make sure that the hair is all separated from the hair below it. We can split this into three. Now this is the technique that I use for how I hold it in my hands. Oh, okay, hold on. So this is the technique that I am familiar with that I use, but I'm going to show you in a little bit another technique that I learned on YouTube that is maybe simpler. Whichever one, you can try them. It is going to take your hands some practice to get used to it. So we're going to start out by just doing a normal three strand braid for the first Thing. So we'll pass the right side over the middle. What is that, Priya? Me. Rock. A rock. Okay. And then the left side over the new middle. Now, here's how I'm holding my hair. This is what's going to continue, is I have one strand tucked into my thumb here. I have another strand held in the middle, and then I have a strand kind of hooked onto the top. So the one that's hooked onto the top is the one that's about to go into the middle. This one that is in the middle is going to come over to the side. Same thing on the other side. I tuck that hair into this part between my thumb and finger. I put this one sort of into the middle, hook it in there, and then I put my index finger up, and I hook this. Now. Yes, it's a rock. All of my hair is in my left hand. I'm going to use the thumb of my right hand to start at my hairline and pick up a little section along that way and add it into the part that is hooked in my index finger. And again, make sure that it's completely separated, not attached down the line. Now. That part that's on my index finger is going to go into the center. I'm going to reach mommy. underneath, oh, grab the strand that's in the middle, oh, and pull mommy. it to the side. Oh, mommy. Yes, thank you. That's a hair elastic. Yeah. Um, so again, putting it into the crux of my fingers there, put this section in the middle, bring up my index finger to hook, hook that hair, use my thumb to grab a section, trying to keep those sections pretty even. Yeah. That also takes a lot of practice. Um, separate it out. Yes, you. Yeah, you got my hair sticks. Um, add that to the section that's hooked to the index finger. Reach under. Take the stuff from the middle. Pull it to the side. And this is just something that developed over many years as I learned to French braid and practiced. I don't remember when I started doing it this way, but this is just what I've been doing for as long as I can remember now. And then when we get to the bottom, we're going to use my technique that I mentioned earlier. I mean, it's not mine, but a technique that I mentioned on TikTok that was very popular, so I think not many people know this. When you're getting down to these last two stitches, we're going to split this in half. Instead of taking from this side like we usually do, I'm going to grab a chunk from the opposite side and add it into my index finger there. Take it across, index finger, and the chunk from the cross side, grab the one in the middle, and then start braiding normally, etc. So that is the way that I French braid, but I'm going to show you another technique that somebody shared, and I will um, post her username here. Um, so this might help you to visualize it a little bit better.
brush out. Once again, I am going to do a half up. Make sure that the hair is separated from the rest. Okay, so she calls this a ladder. We're going to do our three strands and they are going to rest in our fingers straight up and down like this. Grab the center strand, then the other strand is on top here, and then the bottom strand gets lifted up to the finger above. And at that point, you can add some hair to that one. <laughs> Try not to get tangled. Same thing, I'm going to grab the center section between my thumb and finger. The other section naturally goes in between the next two fingers and this bottom section comes around over the top between the next two fingers and we add some hair to it. Now this is the only, only the second time I've done this so it may be a little looser <laughs> than my version that I'm so used to over the years. Grab the center section, next section goes on top, the bottom section comes looping over the top, and add some hair to it. Grab the middle, I mean it's kind of similar to what I'm doing, just a different way to visualize it, especially this lifting the bottom section up to the top, that's really neat. So I don't know who originally thought of that, but it kind of blew me away when it worked. So we can, I think, still do my trick for the bottom, but I, I missed it at this point. <laughs> and then just braid like normal. So there you have it, the ladder technique. Uh, it's pretty cool, it really works. Um, so try one of those two and let me know how it goes.